Coming up next, another animal rescue. Squirrel rescue, a true story. If you have bird feeders, then you're used to all sorts of birds coming to visit. And not just birds will take advantage of the free food. You'll also see other critters, like chipmunks. Or groundhogs. And you'll definitely see squirrels. Well, in this story, we'll tell you about one squirrel that didn't quite look like the others. He wouldn't get close at first, so we couldn't tell what was wrong. But using a high-powered telephoto lens, I was able to photograph this squirrel and get a look at what was different about him. He had something around his head, almost looked like a helmet. Although he came to eat on a daily basis, we couldn't ascertain what was around his head because he was still very skittish. After getting a couple of good photographs of him, we were able to discover what was troubling this squirrel. He had a McDonald's Sunday lid around his head. We knew we had to help him, but that would mean capturing this squirrel, and it's not easy to capture a squirrel. He was still eating and drinking, but as the days went by, I could see that he had been chewing the edge of the lid trying to get it off, but that plastic wouldn't give. And then the day came where even his paw was stuck in it. We knew we should take immediate action now. I reached out to my Facebook community for ideas. And right away, friends and friends of friends offered to bring a have a heart trap to my house so we could trap him and then bring him to a veterinarian. At first, we were catching all the wrong squirrels. But eventually we caught the right one and I reached out to Dr. Ann DeLeon at Ridge Hill Animal Hospital. She offered to take a look at the squirrel, but she told us that if we could grab that lid through the cage with a long nose pliers, the squirrel would likely pull his own head out. And that's exactly what we did. The moment that we grabbed that lid with the pliers, the squirrel pulled his own head out in an instant, and then we set him free. I don't know who was happier, the squirrel, myself, or the Facebook community, but this was a true Team Squirrel Rescue. Thanks to everyone on Facebook and Dr. Andy Leone at Ridge Hill Animal Hospital.